morning everyone and welcome back to the channel so i thought i would put in a video of my day-to-day -day going ons and everyone's chilling at home and everyone's sort of got a bit of an odd schedule at the moment so yeah there's not any real agenda for this video it's pretty much just this is what i'm doing today and you can come along with me <laughs> Alrighty, so it's a little bit late in the day, house is all clean, I'm going to start putting some new stuff into the cruiser. Got some fridges to swap out and seat covers and a few bags that I want to put in there as well. So this is my seat cover situation. These are actually old super cheap ones that are probably or six seven years old uh, and as you can see the the bottom one completely is gone and this one is falling apart i got them embroidered um, with turtle anchors that didn't come like that i'll just take this off <laughs> put the new ones in. How new do my seats look though? Alright. Start with the easy one. I think that's all the way in. That is beautiful.
little cutout is the difference between buying mass produced custom and buying actual custom made stuff. Pretty sure every single set of seat covers I've bought. This cutout was like, I think it's here. So it's just nice when things just fit. It's something you really don't appreciate when you're like, oh, I'll just buy these because these are cheaper. Why would I spend heaps of money getting proper stuff? This is why. <laughs> it won't annoy you at first. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll put the website for them down below. You can pretty much put in your make, model, and year of your car, and it will tell you if they have seat covers. I said no more Marcy Boy in the front now, because I don't want to dirty them. But let's be honest, he's probably going to be back in here. I've got some bags from Grab Me Here. I don't know if anybody else is annoyed as I am putting a compressor back in the bags that they come in but they're flimsy and they just don't work okay these are the two bags grab me here and this is my mean mother compressor but as you can see the bag is very unsupportive we're gonna do a swap these trying to fit this back in here just doesn't work Stands up all on its own. I've got a new tire bin bag. So this is the old bag and this is the new one. Go chuck that one on. That's it on. It does come with a strap that I've disconnected, um, but it goes down the middle at the back. So the difference between the old one is these buckles were too short, like the other strap, so they would actually clip at the back and rub on here. So now they're on the bottom and the strap can you know like this is a 33 by 13 and a half so even like a 35 12 and a half there's still plenty of um, strap left even these little um tags it's such a good idea to just roll up all your extra lengths um, and then there's two that go I put through the rim but yeah Gear, so I'll put their website and the discount code down below and go check them out because I have lots of their stuff in my car so I've got some fridges from Dometic first things first took the old fridge out all right so this was this was the plan to put this upright fridge where this one was so in the back then it's more to one side and I'd be able to use the space beside it to put you know like bags or anything like that but these fridges have no mounting I mean obviously they're designed to slide into pre-made cabinets that would cover all of this this is the 80 liter I was excited to have an upright fridge but might need a little bit more planning to fit that one so this is a CFX 355 with the ice maker one um, so these are new from Dometic and I'm pretty keen because this old fridge used to draw about nine, nine amps every time the compressor would kick in. Alrighty. That's a much more practical size. <laughs> this is the ice maker little ice cubes
glasses, pretty cool. I can change everything from my phone, turn the ice maker on, change all the temperatures, set to two. I'm gonna go fill up my ice, all filled up. here now I will be intrigued to see how watertight these little lids are because my car is not smooth no, I don't know I'll close that on because there's gonna have to be some modding to fit the upright um, 80 litre gone and put the 55 the cfx3 with the ice maker in the back now so i've just strapped it in i've only got this one ratchet strap we'll have to buy some proper tie downs there there is a lot of options we could just play around and get the upright fit in here or the upright could go in the dog box and we could build a drawer system around it um, their possibilities are endless <laughs> So I'll show you the other fridge so that you know sort of what we're dealing with. So this is CRX 80. Where it normally mounts is along here and goes into these little holes that are along the side. Yeah, it's going to be fun trying to mount that. But I just think it'd be so worth it to have just everything upright. That's your freezer. But we'll see. That's pretty much why the CFX3 is in there now and I do really want to try it. I'm really excited to use it. I'm excited for the ice maker. Don't judge me. I don't know why ice is so exciting, but every time I go out camping, I'm like, damn, I wish I had some ice. Cause you don't bring ice. Like unless I'm going fishing, I don't bring ice cause I have a fridge. So this one's drawing about 4.4 amps. Um, my other one was 9.8. <laughs> So this is a lot better. We'll have a look what it does once it's at temperature. Hope you guys liked this video and like just hanging out with me for the day and what I did. It's um well past beer time. My mouth is so dry. Um, everything that I talked about today, I'll put in the description down below so that you can go check it out. I hope everyone is having fun in um, isolation if that's what you're up to. I'm still working so it's not too big of a change I guess. I know it's affected a lot of other people so I hope everyone is good. Otherwise I will see you all in my next video. It's the next day. Gonna go see if we got us. Oh yep, that feels icy. Little ice cubes. That is so cool. So the main the main fridge is actually only at two degrees. Um, so obviously not cold enough to freeze water. So your beers and coke don't go all icy, but you can still make ice. <laughs>